Hey friends, Fargo here, and hey, where's Buford? Oh, there he is! Welcome back to Buford's Big Adventure. Alright, so I read your comments, and I saw the Discord, and I know, I know what you guys want me to do with these gag points. <laughs> so we're gonna throw it all into Lure. There we go, we got it. The Lure gag track. I know someone said they were gonna make a diss track if I didn't pick sound, but they're gonna have to make that diss track now. <laughs> Uh, well, hey, look at that. We have our lure gag, and let's go stock it up. Here, uh, I'll remove some of those. Maybe, yeah. I think four is probably good for right now. I don't think I'll be doing too much luring. Uh, I'll try and train it. The 1.2 update did come out with a uh, gag multiplier, uh, so it lasts until the 22nd for me here. So uh, that'll be getting us more experience even out of an invasion. So let's go ahead and look at our tune tasks. Here we go. We got... Cream be gone. We're almost done with- well, actually, no, we just started this one, didn't we? I think we just started this one. And we also need to go to Lord Loud and Clear. Liar, liar. Uh, this one will be pretty easy, I think. So let's go ahead and turn this music down. It's really loud. There we go. Now I can hear myself talk. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to the monkeys and see what they want us to do before we do anything else. Actually, actually, let's talk to Loud and Clear, then we'll do that. Hey, loud and clear. Ooh, that's a lot of experience. That almost got us a level. Alright, so Rancid Robert is on that street, so we can just talk to him, and I think he wants us to defeat level 3 plus cogs? I can't remember. Well, we'll find out in a bit. Let's go to Wacky Way. So, it's been really cold where I am. Uh, it is the winter time right now, uh, heading on to spring, so I'm, I'm snuggled up in a hoodie right now. I got my coffee, my cold coffee, mind you, <laughs> and uh, a hot meal here so i'll be all right for the episode but man it's cold all right rancid robert okay so i don't i didn't read what he wanted us to do so let's go ahead and read that real quick three cogs and wacky way let's see if we can get that done but first before we do that we should probably go talk to the monkeys uh we'll want to do a bit of back and forth because they'll be arguing we'll, we'll have to settle that argument all right so we need to talk to this one Okay, so they're trying to tell us that the other building is lying. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over here. What could be so bad? Oh, just in time. Wait, she said what? Uh-oh. So one is telling the truth and one's telling a lie. We have to try and resolve it by killing six cogs in a wacky way. Needle nose. No, sorry, that's not a glad hander. Let's go ahead and get some lawbots here, because we do need lawbots. Try and defeat some lawbots while we're at this. Luckily, it's not level specific, so. Hey, let's use our first lure gag. Let's see if this works. No! I don't know what you guys are gonna tell me. Uh, train your level one lure on level one cogs, but come on. Come on. Let's do it one more time, one more time. Yeah, look at that. All right, now we can use our squirt gag. I'm kind of concerned with uh, using lure because I, I need to train my drop. And I don't think Lur is going to help me trade my drop, <laughs> but here, this guy doesn't... Okay, good, he died to it. Uh, petty Foggers are kind of difficult because their health is different than other Lawbots, but that's alright. Okay, so it really just, realistically, we need any Cog, but I want to try and shoot for Lawbots here. This, uh, I don't know if I want to fight this Needle Nose, but I do need Lawbots. And it's an EXE, so no way. <laughs> We might just have to fight regular cogs at this point, because I'm not sure if uh, we're going to find any lawbots unless I defeat a cog. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's fight two cogs. Yeah, let's see if we can't tackle a level one. Uh, I don't even know if they... Oh, yeah, they just spawn right here. Let's try and get a lure off on this guy and then squirt him. Because I'll want to train my lure just because we do have that multiplier happening this... Oh, I missed. Uh, we do have a multiplier happening for a few days here. Uh, uh, I don't think that lure is going to work, so we may as well just fire upon it. Yeah, there we go thing is, I want to get to uh, at least level 3 drop before I leave June 10 Central. So we'll want to train that for sure. Uh, 42, hold on. So that would be, that would take 5 turns to defeat this guy, but does he do enough damage to me? Here, let's see. He probably only does like 1 damage. But we're going to fight this petty fogger. Gotta, gotta make sure my squirt works. <laughs> oh sweet, we got a squirt booster too. Ah, uh, but it only soaks, that sucks. All right, how much damage does he do? Finger wag? Two damage, yeah. We got this. We got this in the bag. Take this, Petty Fogger. 
Okay, we need three more. Hmm, am I feeling lucky? Should I drop him? I definitely can't lure him. Oh my gosh. Well, he's not going to defeat us before we defeat him, so... I think we'll be good. Yeah, he's real close. Yeah, there's no way he can defeat us uh, in the time that we can defeat him. Uh, one more. This is going to get me a lot of points. Let's see how many points this gets us. I wasn't looking at the multiplier. Oh, a Kong Invasion has begun. That's convenient. Oh my gosh, 30. Oh, big wigs. Hey, I leveled up. I'm glad invasions don't affect uh, uh, Toontown Central anymore. Or else that would have been a big problem. <laughs> Alright, we can turn into Ransom Robert now. Now, if you're new to uh, Toontown Corporate Clash, uh, there's one more chapter after this, and then there's a mini chapter uh, after that, which leads us to the finale of Toontown Central. Which I'm sure by now you know that there is a boss at the end of this uh, playground, but I won't give you any details because I want to save it for the final episode in this area. So let's see, what else do we have to do here? We have to go to House of Bad Pies, right. That is on Silly Street? Oh, 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 before we go to Silly Street, actually, I want to pick up this Tumbles task. I'll go slow for this portion, so. All right. Yeah, so Buford did just move here with the Toon Resistance. The heart of Toontown is exciting. Yeah. So he wants us to talk to Librarian Larry, so let's go and do that real quick. This episode, I might be making uh, Buford's profile a bit different if we finish this task. We can probably finish the task. Uh, we can probably finish it. But I do want to try and finish this uh, uh, gathering gags task first. Right, law bots. Okay. So that kind of lines up with our cream be gone, so that's good. Uh, let's head to Silly Street. Okay, so I don't need to look at the map because I actually have this spot memorized. I mean, I had the I had the task memorized too, so that makes the most sense, I guess. House of Bad Pies. Hey, I'll get you your pencil shavings, don't worry. Okay, let's go. That doesn't line up very well with our other tasks, but that's okay. We'll just uh, uh, look for pencil pushers on the side. Uh, my focus here is definitely going to be uh, law bots for now. Is that one? Level 2? Yeah, level 2. Sweet. There's a level 3 just over there too, so if we finish this quick, we can get this. Come on, sandbag. Oh, man. Alright, the Bloodsucker might fly, but we'll see. I'll have to skip the battle. Uh, uh, victory dance. Sandbag, please. Bloodsucker's gonna fly away, no! I'm listening for those propellers. No! <laughs> Dang it. That was bottom feeder. Just take my sandbag, please. Alright, come on, sandbag. There we go. Took it long enough. Here, let's get this con artist to fly away, too. Just so we can get different cogs on the street. Oh shoot, dance didn't last long enough. We might want to tackle that uh, lawbot that we saw before. Let's see, he was at the start of the street. Uh, oh, oh, I think a pencil pusher just fell from the sky over here. Yeah, hey. I think I'm out of drop, so. You're out of good drop. I think this, actually, hold on. Yeah, there's one more. Now, this will be my last drop here. And it worked. You know, when I think of the pencil pusher, I think that he's drop resistant because his point is so sharp that it would go right through the sandbag. Come on. Oh, there's that bottom feeder. See, he's an EXE. I could only get points if this flower pot hits, so let's find out if the flower pot hits. I got three of them, so. First attempt. Nice. I thought that was going to miss. We're getting really close to our drop. Here, let's see. Yeah, that's a lot closer than it was before. Uh, we can't actually check our uh, amount anymore because of the new HUD, but uh, that's okay. Is that a pencil pusher? Yeah, it is. Actually, let's uh, get our laugh before we fight that guy. Oh, come on. He's turning the corner. All right, let's go get him. You're mine, pencil pusher. All right, come on. This lure has to hit. Come on, lure. Yeah. All right, what's his health? That knockback isn't going to be enough, I don't think. Yeah. Got him close, though. He'll be good for one more attack, I think. Here we go. Yeah. No misses. My lure's a lot luckier than my drop. That's for sure. We might get our magnet. 
Yeah, we might we might get our magnet here. Uh, let's see. We need one more pencil shaving, I think. No, is that a penny pincher? Yeah, it's a penny pincher. We need one more pencil. Uh, let's see if we can't clear up the street by defeating one of those bo uh, those law bots. Yeah, this one. Wait, do I have any gags for this guy? No, I, wait. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. He just has to not dodge my flower pots and we'll be good. Yeah, sweet. Oh, wow. It's a multiplier by three? That's pretty good. Uh, so now we need to look for a pencil pusher. See if anyone spawned. No, it was a telemarketer. Uh, we might want to switch districts. Actually, let's fight this bottom feeder because I do have... Yeah, I have one more. Yeah, we're going to have to flower pot this guy. Okay, so glass of water, then we flower pot. Yeah, that'll be enough. So long as it hits. This has to hit or else we might end up wasting a water gun. Let's see. Yeah, sweet. Luck is in our favor this episode. I, but saying that now, it's probably going to start missing. No, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Oh, there's a bloodsucker, though. Oh, but we don't have any gags for that, though. Ah, nah. Let's wait for a level three. Oh, oh, pencil. Oh, but he's level two. Shoot. That's fine. I'll just waste a water gun. Oh shoot, I have to waste two water guns. Luckily Buford is uh, beefing up. He's not as squishy as he was before. <laughs> is that another pencil? No, it's a penny puncher. And that's a swindler. <laughs> it's too bad, but we got our pencil shavings, so let's go ahead and talk to the person here. Putrid something? Ma Putrid, yeah. Alright. What do we got now? Lord Loud and Clear? Let's go talk to Lord Laddingclair. He's going to want us to go to the seltzer guy. I don't know why I remember this part of the task so well. Okay, Lord Laddingclair. Uh, then we can go restock and go to Loopy Lane. Yep, Sid Seltzer. Kind of reminds me of Sid Sonata, which is way later in the task line. There's a lot of Sids in the Tuniverse. It's more difficult now because I, I need to get to level 10, because I think that's when I get my extra gag slots. So it's going to be kind of a pain until we get there. Uh, yeah, let's go to Loopy Lane just to talk to everybody, essentially. We'll do this first, then we'll go fight Cogs on Wacky Way. Okay, let's go into the building. I think they want us to get a fish? Oh, four bags of salt. Okay. They do want us to fish, but not for a fish. I thought it was a fish. I think I might be thinking of a tumbles task. Okay, so let's go get some bags of salt. One bag of salt. If I can get a fish here... Oh, it's fish bingo. Uh, if I can get one fish here, then I could level up. Okay, got all our bags of salt, I think. Yeah, okay, let's get one fish. Very nice. Of course it was a starfish. Uh, so level five fishing now. Okay, so now we can go turn in. Um, yeah, so one Lawbot. Uh, also, Sid Seltzer is actually in here. He's not over here in Loopy's... Or actually, Meatball Shop, I guess. That building used to be Loopy's Balls, but uh, if you notice... The marker actually goes to Loopy's Balls, so don't go in that building, actually go in this building. It's a little confusing, so if you ever get to this task, just remember, just go straight forward, because this is where this guy is. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to uh, Vanishing Cream as well. Let's go do that. Uh, they, I think they have one more thing for us to do. Yeah, level 3 plus cogs. Okay. We can do that. Okay, so... Uh... Level 3 plus cogs. Wanna fight that petty fodder? Oh, ooh. gotta get it before that. I almost said gopher. Uh, before that beaver's fight uh, makes him fly away. Yeah, he does about the same amount of damage. And one more after this should do it. Our squirting gun might end up doing 11 damage here. Let's see if we can uh, get that to happen soon. Oh, wow, 36. Honestly, if I just keep using my squirting gun, I might get seltzer. Or actually, not seltzer, water balloon. That's what it is. Did we get our... Yeah, we did. So we can go talk to Tumbles after this. Right, Wacky Way. That's right, that's right. So let's go back to the playground. Uh, then we can just fight Cogs on Wacky Way. After that, we'll want to fight Flunkies because I think the next task in that line is actually to fight Flunkies for someone else entirely. Okay, head to the gag shop before we talk to Tumbles. Here, someone can read this. You can just pause the video if you want to.
So now Tumbles wants us to do something on the trolley, so let's go ahead and do that. I think this is the first time that Buford's gone on the trolley. No, no, no. I think it actually, in a previous episode, he may have, but I don't remember. But hey, let's find out. Oh yeah, never ridden the trolley before. Some of you guys think I'm going to skip this, but I'm not. <laughs> I think Jungle Vines is probably my favorite minigame. I'm a little biased because I think when I was 12, this came out, and that's when the monkeys came out. And I played this all the time. Like, I would uh, throw in other trolley games just to get this one, because the skip feature wasn't a thing before. <laughs> but nowadays, I prefer uh, memory games. But this game is still one of my top favorites. Aw, oh, shoot. Tried to double tap it. Oh, whatever. Hey, we got the Jelly Beans background. Sweet. My daily task is complete. Oh. Oh, right. It was just Jelly Beans. That's right. Uh, so we can exit the lobby. Uh, let's see. Was that what we needed to do? Yeah, it was. The ride the trolley. We could have just skipped it and went back to him, but I wanted to do the game. Uh... Hey, you got the selfie pose. All right, someone can read this. Okay. So, let's go and check our uh, profile pose. So, I haven't messed with this at all. Um, I wanted to wait for the Tumbles episode to finally get to do this, but hey, we can put our selfie on. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like he's holding his nose. Something smells. Something's really stinky. So let's go ahead and change this. Let's see, what do you guys think? Uh, like a blue? Yeah, blue's probably good. Uh, I, yeah, I did pick up all of the <laughs> playground backgrounds. But let's put jelly beans on, just because we just got that one. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. These jelly beans are really stinky. Okay, um, what's next? Oh yeah, Wacky Way. So Wacky Way, we'll want to look for level 3 cogs. I think, uh, let me double check the side tasks. Yeah, so we're all out of side tasks, so these are the last side tasks we need to do. Uh, so, once these are all done, we can just focus on the main task. Oh, perfect, there's a micromanager right over here. Let's see if we can't grab this micromanager. Come on, micromanager, please! Micromanager! Micromanager, please! No! <laughs> Oh my gosh. That micromanager did not want to fight Buford. Probably because I was stepping all over, but I can't seem to find any. Wait, is that one? No. They're all level 1. I think they're fighting the only level 3 on this street. Yeah, is this level 3? No. Um, We might have to switch districts. Let's see, is this a... Oh, that's a 4. That's a 4. Let's fight the 4 Bloodsucker. Alright, I don't want to try luring this cog. <laughs> I feel like that would be a waste of a dollar. More red tape. Does every cock have red tape? Jeez. He needs one more and we're good. Before we squirt it though, let's just see. Skill credit 9, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry, dog. No, I didn't see you. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at this duck. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we need one more, and then we need two more cogs on the street, so... Flunky. Okay, uh, Just want to use up our squirting guns. Yeah, it's pretty fortunate that we're here in an invasion, too, because... I mean, I don't really like switching districts mid-episode. Unless it's, like, required. Oh, is this... Is someone gonna join? Yeah, someone's gonna join, okay. So, let's see what they got. Oh, sweet. Here, go do a little happy face. There we go. We're making friends. Um, we can go back to Sid Seltzer, but I actually want to get one more cog on the street just to finalize our tasks because I feel like there's one more thing we need to do. Um, where are these level threes? Here, do we need level threes? Yeah, we still need level threes. Come on, level threes. No level three, no. I might have to actually... Because the, the tunes on the street should be boosting the amount of cogs on the street itself. Let's see, that's a level 3. Let's wait for him to land. Okay, so I don't have any uh, water guns anymore, so we're going to have to just drop it. Come on, don't dodge it. Oh, shoot. Here, this dog can finally join now. Let's see, what does he got? Here, what's he got? Okay, so how about I, uh, how about I squirt him and he zaps? 
Sweet, that works. Nice. Alright, you do your thing, dog. There we go, sweet. Oh, he's got a raccoon friend. Oh, there's a level 1 joining, no! <laughs> uh, I can lure him, I guess. Here, let's lure him. This is a good opportunity to train my lure, I guess. Here, you can, you can squirt if you want to. Oh no, more people joining the battle. Ah! Oh man, this level 4. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to take a while. Okay, so this level 4, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with this level 4. Uh, I could drop him, I guess. No, they can just do whatever they want to do, I guess. He could, yeah. Like, Squirt and Zap. Squirt and Zap would be really nice right now. No, I was going to type it out. I was going to type it out. They got it, though. I think we're all wearing the same pants. Yeah, we're all wearing the same pants. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad we all have the same taste in clothing. All right. Look at that. We almost got our uh, small magnet. And I think we got everything we needed. Well... We didn't get our three, even though we fought a four and a three, so we'll just have to go back to Pants and Fire. We'll want to turn into Sid, and then we can probably end the episode. Because we're, we're really close to the end. Okay, so I think I got it. Yep, 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 yep. yep. We'll want to go to Phony Baloney now. Let's go talk to Sid Seltzer, see if um that's the end of that line, maybe? Let's find out. Because I think that's the end of that line. Still not entirely sure if uh, we're done yet, but I think we're done. And then I think it's just going to Tune Mobile, and then doing the thing that we need to do. Back to Loopy Lane. And then I think it's Punchline, where uh, Tony Macaroni is. Hey Sid. Yep, Lord Loud and Clear. So we won't pick up the Lord Loud and Clear task yet, um, but I do want to finish these side tasks before we end the episode. They won't take too long, so we'll just want to go through that. Hey, Name Dropper? Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, name dropper. Let's go, let's go tackle this name dropper. It seems like everyone's uh, training on Wacky Way, so this is probably for the better that I don't train on Wacky Way. We might actually get close to our next Squirt Gag here, if we keep at it. Oh yeah, it does 11 damage now. Okay. So I think he's good for a, uh, what? A glass of water? But we won't do that. Let's actually get this uh, sandbag. Let's see if the sandbag will work. Nice, there we go. The so, uh, sandbag is above 50. Yeah, getting close. We almost have our level 3 drop, too. Uh, if we can keep training our lure, we can get a uh, small magnet. But still didn't get our 3, so... Let's actually go back to the playground, because it's going to take forever to talk to a door to get all of our laugh now, so... And while we're here, we may as well just talk to Tony Macaroni, which is on Punchline. Uh... Actually, that'll get us our laugh, so let's just do that. I think a smart move... Actually, hold on. I think a smart move would be to fight a three. And then when our lap is really low, we can just go talk to uh, Tony Macaroni. So yeah, this will do it. Honestly, might want to shoot for a, a water balloon at this point. So yeah, this cock had no chance of defeating me, I don't think. Buford's getting strong. Never thought I'd say that. Hey, we're getting close. We're getting really close. Past the halfway point, but we're getting close to the like, three quarters point. Alright. Tony Macaroni. Sweet. Let's go look for a level 3 flunky. And that'll probably do both tasks, because I, st I still, like, still haven't got this last thing. And I fought several level 3s. Oh. Cool. <laughs> no change to the COG population on this street. <laughs> no change whatsoever. What's this? Level 1 flunky. Um, if we can't find a level 3 flunky, then I might as well just, uh, look on another street, but let's just fight this tightwad. Let's just use a, yeah, that'll do it. How crazy is that? We went from doing, like, six turns to kill a level 3 to, like, two. <laughs> oh, we finally finished that task. Okay, cool. So now we can just fight flunkies. Do I have any gags for this? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. And flower pot. Come on, first try. Dang. Uh, it, it would be nice if we got it here because, like, we're right next to the building. Okay, cool. Now we can just go talk to him. That is if we got the thing. Yeah, we got it. We got it. I think that was actually the end of the task. So we can actually go talk 
talk to the guys again and get this finished. Still a lot of people on the street. I don't know why I feel like this is the training street. I'm glad that it's designated though, so like, not everyone's taking up all the street space. Alright, we're here. Hey, pants on fire. Okay, so they want us to talk to the liar again. Hello, hey, we're done. Eeky. <laughs> So it turns out the building, it turns out the building to our uh, right here is actually lying, not telling the truth. So we solved the mystery. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of that task. Now we just go turn in the other task and we'll be done. But then we can continue next episode by just doing the main task line, which will be really easy. We might just knock out the main task line at that point. Let's see. Uh, Oh, no, don't. No, don't talk to this guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're not supposed to talk to Lottie Clear yet. Okay, what do we get? Hey, we got the zany name tag. Sweet. Alright, Buford got a new name tag. Last thing we want to do is go to the Vanishing Cream Lady, and then uh, we're done. Oh. Oh, we're not done yet. Ten cogs anywhere. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it there anyhow. Uh, so it turns out we're not done with the side task yet, but hey... We're going to finish up soon. This will be the end of this episode, so I'm going to say my adieus. If you want me to keep this name tag, if you think this name tag is cool, uh, let me know. Uh, I might just stick with the plain name tag because I wasn't planning on doing any cheesy effects or any name tags. Uh, so if you want me to keep this name tag, let me know. Uh, but yeah, this episode was good. We made a lot of progress. We finished the tumbles task. Uh, sorry if I went through it uh, real quick the first time. Uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to save the text, because it is a new task, so I wasn't sure. But anyway, uh, make sure to like, comment down below, share the video, make sure to subscribe to join the Hypno Party, and I've been Fargo. Stay hypnotized, folks. Oh god, if I've ever seen like a, a 2007 like commercial on TV, this guy looks like he would be with the blue spy and he'd be like, they'd form like a, a, a team, like the wet bandits or something. Like, oh my god. They're absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I for one, I for oh, one would ugly. welcome the wet bandits blue into my bath. They seem, they you, seem well, like wait, wait, friendly. Wait, so I want to pause. Friendly. What you're saying is when you're taking a bath, you'd welcome the wet bandits to take a bath with you. Yeah, they look like some cool, cool little dudes who just want to have a party. And cool like, I, dude. I, the I imagine, bandits. I imagine you're what? having a bath, and I'm like, oh, this, this. Oh wait, bath no, 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 you're boring. British. That's why and you then, didn't watch. And then the window you flies. Watch, like, the window flies open, the and, and this guy, this guy flies in, and he's like, did someone say boring bath time? Not on you're, my wait, watch. Did you say and boring baptize? Boring bath. Boring baptize. And then he spins up. Yeah, yeah, spins you probably around, did baptize. Spins around bandits. really quick. And then the, the, the bath the becomes super because he's a superhero. The wet bandits. 